The Playhouse Junior is, depending on who you talk to, the oldest or the second oldest children's theater in the United States. It is one of the longest running children's theaters in the country. That we start realizing when parents come or grandparents come with their families and children and they say, oh, I remember when I saw a play here when I was young. I think Playhouse Junior is an absolute treasure in the Pittsburgh community. The opportunity for young people to watch theater that has been geared to their particular age level, professional theater, um, I think that's what's really important. Is that you're going to see theater of, a, of high quality, done very, very well with um, not only fine actors who are being trained to go into the profession, but fine designers, set design, um, costumes, lights. All of the accoutrements of professional theater is there, so we don't play down to the audience. We are bringing the audience along. It's about sharing not only the experience of theater, but also revealing the world that our children are living in and are going to inherit. We do indeed do world premieres, um, we do musicals, we do plays. We have a literary component to this. We're doing works that normally may not be associated with the kind of fairy tale of children's theater. We're, we're looking to expand this so that this includes an adult perspective to this. Um, it's something that will be interesting to a first or second grader equally as it would be to an 11th or 12th grader in high school. You're exposing a whole new generation of people to what theater is or what acting is. It makes them so much more outgoing and it makes, it sparks creativity and imagination inside them. It's interactive and it's real people and it's, you know, we, we speak to the kids in the audience, you know, directly. It's so magical and it's, it's so interactive and it's very welcoming, I think, to the community and to kids. When young children come to see theater, they can really be a part of something rather than just, you know, sitting back and watching, um, you know, a TV show. They can really be a part of, of a live experience. I like people, the people sing and dance. I am the lead teacher at Homestead Park United Methodist Church Beginner Garden. Uh, we feel that the children just absolutely love coming here. They get a great experience. They get to get away from the regular type movies and come and see a live performance and actually see the actors and be able to see actually what happens almost like behind the scenes. Well, when I was little, it was great because I was seeing stories I've read up on stage and like with different people and putting a real voice and a face to them. And as I grew up with the Diary of Anne Frank, it was just, it really happened, you know, and you got to see it right there in front of you. There's a magic to it, and I think Playhouse Junior has that magic. Everyone aboard, from costumes to set to lights, uh, they put their all into it, and it's totally amazing. And I think kids will love it, I love it. Um, so I'm definitely planning on bringing my kids here. Some of the favorite things are when I come in and I see like a set in the background. As a child, I would come to a lot of the Playhouse Junior shows and one specifically I remember is Cinderella. We came to see Cinderella here at the Playhouse and it was the ballet version. And afterwards, I loved going out into the house and, and meeting the dancers and getting their autographs and getting to meet them. So I went up to Cinderella and I was like, you are so beautiful and I, I loved your shoes. And she actually offered to give me one of her shoes um, after the run was over. I said to my parents, you know, please, can we come back so I can get, the, get her shoes? Um, and then Christmas morning, I woke up and opened a, a box, and there is the ballet slippers. So, and here's one of the There's shoes the, There it is, signed so. Cinderella. She was inspired, the passion began, and that's when we went into dance lessons, and uh, she sang in our church. It opened a whole area of art for Andrea. It, that's what the arts does. Bringing them to the shows and exposing your children when they're six to, to performances, whether it's ballet, musical theater, plays, and the children get an idea of what the arts is about. I know it's children's theater, but that's not all it is. It's, it's an experience for everybody. There's stuff that kids will enjoy, families, adults. It's so important for parents and educators to expose kids to live theater. There's, there's just nothing like it.